What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here. And yeah, starting up another new series. You guys are probably asking to yourself, hey, how many of these things is this guy gonna do? And that's, uh, that's a good question. This new series is called the Tiny Lure Challenge. And it's actually pretty different than the other challenges because a bunch of you guys actually suggested doing it in the comments section. And I could not be any more excited because I love using my ultralight setup and I have not used it nearly enough this year. So I'm excited to put this thing to use. Well guys, my uh, my ultralight box is pretty unimpressive at this point, like I have no idea what this is doing in there, but today I'm going to try to catch a fish using this miniature crankbait. I've had this thing for a while, it's actually a square bill made by Strike King, it rattles a little bit, so I'm going to try to catch a fish with this thing. There's a fish. Yes, you guys. Wow, this is cool. First fish on the tiny crankbait. I'm not positive, but I think it's a green sunfish, but I am not too sure on that. Looks like an aquarium fish almost. Awesome. First catch. See you later, buddy. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. Oh, this is another really pretty fish. Wow. Are these green sunfish? I cannot believe these colors. See you later, buddy. Just to give you guys a brief explanation of how I'm working this thing, as you can see, there's a bunch of rocks on this bank. So I'm casting parallel to the bank, then cranking this thing down so it hits the top of the rocks. It's sort of uh, imitating a small fish feeding off the rocks and I'm hoping to catch some of these larger fish that are feeding on those. There's a fish. Oh, this looks like that first fish I caught. See you later, buddy. One of the most important things to do when fishing with an ultralight is actually to retie periodically. You do not want your line breaking when that big fish comes along. Guy's a good fighter. See you later, buddy. Whew, that was a good one. Oh, there's a nice fish. No, it came off. I think that was a bass. No, dang. Well, guys, it's been about an hour since I caught my last fish, so I thought I'd take this time to show you guys really quickly the setup that I'm using. This is a four and a half foot ultralight rod. It's made by St. Croix, and it's actually one of my favorite rods. Have not had too many chances to use it this year, which is why I'm so excited about this challenge. Then on there, I'm using a small little ultralight reel. Those sunfish I've caught have been a lot of fun to bring in on this little combo. So I'm gonna get back to it, guys. Hopefully I'll catch a few more. There's a fish. Oh, that's my first bluegill. Oh, almost got hooked there, guys. All right, see you later, buddy. It's been a while since I caught my last fish, so uh, that bluegill was a pleasant surprise. Oh, 
Oh, there's a fish. Oh! Yes! You guys, I cannot believe I just caught this. I think this is a white bass. I always get them confused. Check it out. I didn't. I had no idea these were even in here. See you later, buddy. Well, guys, unfortunately, <laughs> I actually uh, ran out of memory on my big camera. And of course, I did not bring any backup memory cards. Oh, there's a fish. As soon as it hit the water. Nice little bluegill. This guy crushed it as soon as this thing hit the water. See you later, buddy. No. Please don't be snagged. Dang it, dang it, dang it. This is not good, guys. Oh, thank you. All right, guys, one more cast, then I have to get out of here. Fishing has really slowed down. I thought it was slow before, but uh, this is just really bad. Why would someone leave all their lines here for some bird or animal to get tangled in? This gives all fishermen a bad name. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave while I still have the crankbait because this thing is, this thing is pretty cool. Just left the parking lot and was gonna give you guys some of my final thoughts of what I think about this challenge. And honestly, I had a great time with this one. Granted, I didn't catch anything too big, but uh, the fish that I did catch, they put up a really good fight on the ultralight. So let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy it? Do you wanna see more of these episodes? But as always, I really do hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. All right guys, now this is a sizable fish. It may not look that big, but it is chunky. Ooh, doggy. All right, see you later, buddy. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Just driving.